Hey everybody, it's me, Harry's 83 and I got another video for you guys. Um, <laughs> this is an unboxing. The title is going to be, I'm uh, going to spoil it, so I'm not going to be a dummy and say, guess what's in it? So I, I'm going to also try out my new format here, so if you don't like the video now where it's going, <laughs> you can give it a thumbs down. So... I ordered from eBay the weight, um, the Jinbao oversized um, uh, Warbatron. It's the the KO. It's a bootleg. Um, I had considered other places. I checked uh, Terry's TF um, Club because Autocorrect Primer mentioned it on one of his videos. Uh, I had checked Show Z Store. Because um, on the TFW 2005 boards, they mentioned it's a good site. And I had also, uh, I've used TF Direct in the past. I got the Wei Jang uh, Skysaur Predaking from them. And I got the Kubian Cool I Become Brave uh, Construct. <laughs> construct. Devastator, <laughs> construct a core. I was gonna, I got devastator from them, but the thing is, all these places ship from China, and I was like, Ugh. even though they have free shipping, I was like, I don't want to wait a month to get my Warbitron. So let me check eBay. I went on eBay, I clicked on the option U.S. only, and there was two guys. One in Seattle, the other one in North Carolina. Since I live in New York, I was like, North Carolina's closer. Let me order it from him. Um, the North Carol Carolina guy, I'm going to put his um, username in in the comments. So if he has more good stuff, you could check him out. Uh, the guy from North Carolina had like one... One negative comment it was like, hey, package arrived. It was damaged, but it arrived. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm. The other guy was all great. His feedback was like, excellent. But then I looked at his description and he's like, um, none of them were offering returns. But in his the other guy's description, he was like, if you want to return it, there's a 10% stocking fee. And I'm like, well. I guess I'm going to go with the guy in North Carolina, even though he got, like, kind of one negative comment. But <laughs> so, uh, before I begin, this huge box arrived today. Today's Monday, I believe, July 27th. And um, my sister-in-law um, woke up my my fiance, <laughs> my future sister-in-law. And she's like, is John awake? And I got woken up and she said that a package came for me i was who is it the nbk devastator that i ordered from um from show z store did it come from china already no it's not that i knew it'd probably be the warbitron from ebay because it was coming from the states so when i get up i get presented with this thing i'm like <laughs> Primus! This thing is huge! I don't think this is the box for the Warbatron. It would be great if it was. <laughs> I think it's a little extra big because the labels on the on the box say it's like for a, a table. It says letter, logos, plaques. So uh, I'm sure the box wasn't for the Warbatron. It says hardware enclosed over here. I guess that's so it's fragile marked fragile um what i've been doing so this is part of my when i come back because i miss being on youtube but i don't like the chicken race that i've been doing with other reviewers like new guys will be like hey look me <laughs> Uh, I'm already getting ads in my videos and I've been around for like 10 years and YouTube's like, you got the subscribers, but you don't got the views. So no money for you. So I'm like, when I, it, when I come back, I'm going to take this Aries 83 channel. I'm going to close it with a little bow 
because I want to use um, copyrighted content <laughs> because that's what everyone does and they get away with it. So the the reason I've never done it is because I got like a thousand videos on my channel. I don't want to have a copyright strike and have my channel closed and then all that's gone. I've only backed up like, I think... <sighs> Some of the Nerf gun videos when I was in the Nerf phase, that I think that's when I started. Um, my old videos were in AVI and um, and another format. I think it was MPEG slash three, which were huge. Uh, my cameras now with technology with my cameras that I've been making the videos, the files are in MP4 and they're small. So um, my new channel, I'm going to make a user, I'm going to create a new account, like an email. I'm going to come up with a name like Badass Toy Reviewer, or you can take that if it's not taken. <laughs> or look at me, I'm MrFancy.com. <laughs> so I'm going to create a new channel. I'm going to make a little video on this channel and be like, go over there for my new stuff. But this is like, that's it. This is the end, my friend. So, and um i'm going to go over there um uh, so i uh, instead of reviews i'm going to be i think bolt matrix wants to start doing it or he's do kind of doing it and uh bobby skullface kind of does it where he just like uh, i just want to talk to you guys i don't want to be like i bought this it was 20 bucks this is how it is in robot form. This transform it. This is how it is in, in figure form. I like it by it. I don't want to do that stuff anymore. <laughs> I almost said a bad word. <laughs> uh, I might use bad words on my new channel. Um, but the thing is, every time someone, one of my relatives tells me, Hey, what's your YouTube channel? Um, my kid wants to check out your videos. I, I got like, oh, did I say something on one of my old videos? So I like to keep it kid friendly just in case, even though kids aren't in my demographic anymore. <laughs> but that's why I don't, I'm like nice guy, but I'm really just a 45 year old who likes to talk like a sailor. Yark. Anyways, I got this. I, I believe I bought it last thursday so it came in in like five days so that's great i got this because if when i talk a lot i get thirsty it's my lifeblood snapple sponsor me only peach though lemon gives me like acidez <laughs> i've tried traparaca and raspberry and now they have mango mango tastes like medicine but i i want to thank snapple for making stuff that tastes like regular stuff because not a lot of people make food for diabetics it's just sadly <laughs> i am one it's not like oh yeah i'm not diabetic anymore i could get to a point where i'm like my sugar's not high and stuff, but I'll always be a diabetic. If I eat chips, my eyes get blurry. That's <laughs> it's a, it's a life. And um, <laughs> you got to live it. So let's get to the unboxing because all the kids are like, ah, oh, get to the toys. So I bought this block um, because uh, I had one of those Walgreens things. Um, the reason I'm buying like stuff off the internet, I don't like buying stuff on the, on the, I don't like buying stuff off the internet because the satisfaction is like, psh. it's like, oh yeah, I do have a NBK Devastator coming, but I don't have it. I don't have that, that give me the gratification of like going into a store. Ooh, I got it. It's in my hand. I'm going to open it when I get home. It's like click and wait. I don't like waiting. 
I think there was one episode of um, Radio Free Cybertron, um, like a week ago. Not the one that just passed, but um, the one that was on San Diego Comic Con. When they put all the pre-orders up, everyone was pre-ordering, pre-ordering. And I'm like, I don't like, I'm I'm not going to pre-order. If I could get it, I'll get it. If I can't get it, then it's gone. I don't I don't care about it. I'm not a completionist. I learned a long time ago not to be like, oh my gosh, they got the Fort Matrix, uh, Fort Fortress Maximus from Japan. I gotta get it. Nah, <laughs> one of each mode is good enough for me. And if it's like an exclusive that's hard to get, like Dazzle Strike and um, Green Light, and, and I'm like, Psh, yeah, forget it. Even though uh, Robot Kingdom does have count. A punch counter punch for 30 bucks if you want to get it go get it i'm like mm, not yet maybe later or i don't like paying full retail too <laughs> uh, la, la. so if you don't like my blabbing you're got, not gonna like my new channel it's what i feel comfortable with because i don't got no friends which is sad i got internet friends <laughs> I'll post a picture on Instagram and people give it likes and I'm like, I don't know you guys, but you guys like me. You really, really like me. So <laughs> I'll be candid and I'll give you guys the scoops. So here we go. <laughs> uh, here's the um, tetanus springer. I'm not going to look at the camera, so I might be out of focus. I'm going to pay attention here so I don't cut my hand, give myself tetanus. As a diabetic, you're, um, because your blood is sugar, it's not sugar. <laughs> because your blood is sugar, your defenses are down. you got to be careful with, with any cuts or scrapes. So I'm paying attention here. You excuse me if you see my toes. My house I like to be like Mr. Rogers when I get home from work. I'm, I get comfortable. Don't walk around in my work clothes. Like, hey, look at me! I look like I'm going to work, but I'm at home. Uh, this box, I'll probably use it to put toys away and then throw it in storage. It's pretty cool think it's big enough to fit the luxes or maybe voyager boxes could line them up in there um i've started selling toys my fiance when she saw the box she's like what did you buy and i was like oh my god it's the first time anyone's ever asked me that <laughs> because like Usually when I buy, I don't buy on the internet, so people don't see me get packages. Now I'm starting to buy. So when I come home with a package, I'll just like bring it in and I'll hide it whoop, somewhere. I'm not, it's not that I'm ashamed, but it's just, it's a lot of money, like a lot of people, when they review toys, it's like, oh, yeah, I bought this double evil. It's great. But they don't say, it cost me $230. <laughs> so I think as a reviewer, I always like to say the price of the stuff that I bought because, you know, you're, if your wife or a family member watches it, they'll be like, hey, you bought, you paid that much. Look at you spending your money. But I don't care. I like to let the consumers know. There it is. Wow, that's a big old box. I like to let the consumers know how much. Uh, <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Come over here, Blot. So here's Blot. He's in robot form. I should put him in. I'm. He's in monster form. I should put him in robot form, but... Just so you see, most of my toys are in, oh, I got one in robot mode. Most of my toys are in their alt mode. Yeah. So, what was I going to say? I like to let people know of the, 
of the price of the stuff that I pay for because I'm frugal. I people might call me cheap. <laughs> I don't like spending a lot of money. The only the only reason I bought this guy was because I saw a picture on Sir Toys' website, which they have him, but um, he's like 109, but then you got to pay 27 shipping. So I, um, I paid $10 shipping, and he was about 119. So it came out to 130. Sir Toys ships from China, so, you know, in order to get it quick, um, I. I I got that. But I don't like buying things online because of shipping. That's another thing. You're spending $10, $15 extra just to get a toy. I'd rather pick it up in store. But this is something you can't buy in store. If I did open up a physical store, I would probably order a lot of these Chinese bootlegs and sell them. <laughs> anyway. Ah. Uh. So, <laughs> before I get to this, I was talking about my fiance. Uh, I'm selling my toys, a lot of my toys, old toys that I don't like anymore on eBay. Uh, username Ari0083. I'm also selling on Amazon. Amazon isn't as convenient because they charge the customer $4.99 for shipping. They'll pay you the $4.99. But when you ship the thing out, you're paying, um, like, I'll usually pay $7.99 to ship a deluxe. So I'm losing $3. That's why things on Amazon are so crazy. It's like, oh, Blot, he's 30 bucks. What? I could get him at Walgreens for $17.99. It's because Amazon, which is messed up. I hate that company. <laughs> My father-in-law has an Amazon Prime subscription. I bought Trypticon using it. But um, those, those buttheads, uh, people are upset at AOC for being like, no, Amazon here in New York, get out of here. But they're, they're F-heads. I hate Amazon. <laughs> so Amazon will, will charge the customer $4.99 shipping, but, the, but you have to pay the shipping that you ship because you if you go to the post office and you say I'm gonna ship this box and they say it's eight seventy you'll be like no it's four ninety nine you can't do that you you can't <laughs> anyway on Amazon I have um, boxed stuff um, right now I have the um, Terracons at Walgreens prices so if you want to buy a Terracon from there. <laughs> be my guess so amazon is going to be for packaged stuff and ebay is going to be for loose stuff i sold one of my toy i sold the toy biz apocalypse and i got money for that 170 what well, was 150 so i used that to buy this so i'm recycling my toys i told my fiance that when when i told her this was like 120 and I told her that, you know, since I worked overtime and ex and um, I worked on the 4th of July, I got extra money, which is true. So here it is. Happy 4th of July, Chinese bootleg. <laughs> so here's the box. The, the seller did say that the box was a little beat up. Um, the guy from Seattle, I don't, I think he was shipping it without the box. He was like, box is only there for display. But I got the box. It has a little handle here. It's pretty huge. It has this cool Warbatron. <laughs> Look, it's Bruticus, Bruticus, but the product is Warbatron. So I'm not going to call this Bruticus. That's me. That's... If a thing, if I buy a thing and it's called Sky Soar, that's what I'm going to refer it as. I'll say it's a bootleg of um, Powers of the Prime Predaking, but it's not Predaking because it's a bootleg. <laughs> and this isn't Bruticus because it's not. <laughs> anyway, so here's the box. Big old box. I'm guessing this is the original shipping box that they sent it in, so... 
seller shipped it to me. Let me see. Let me turn on the lights. It might help. The seller shipped it to me in its shipping box, so I think I'm going to have to keep it. Or not. I'm going to probably break the box, um, put the guys in Ziploc bags, and that's how I'll keep them. Because storing this, people ask, hey, should I store, should I keep my packages? And I say, no, don't keep, unless you're going to sell it, don't keep the package. So this guy was smart. He kept the package and eventually he sold it. So after I show you guys what's inside, that's going to be the end of the video. I can't go through each one of these guys and be like, oh, this guy is this and he has this and he's the truck. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, that's the truck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh boy, let me. Oh boy, I'm a nerd. Give me, <coughs> give me the garbage. Let me get this off. If I use that voice, it'd probably be for a nerdy, <laughs> a nerdy transformer like Perceptor. Oh boy. Optimus, the thing's not working. Percept Perceptor, get that thing working. Oh, but the basketball physics aren't logical, Optimus. All right, I have to put it on inside. You have to excuse the mess. And uh, because uh, I'm using my hands-free harness thing that I got from Five Below. Five bucks. So you have to excuse the mess. This is the living room. Okay. So here we got the instructions. Robot number four. Instruction. Robot number one. Robot mode. Robot number two. Instruction. And robot number three, but there's six of them. No, there's five. This is pretty cool. So they're huge. Uh, I believe they're Voyager sized, just like the Combiner Wars. I thought the, when I saw the picture on Sir Toys, I thought this thing was bigger than the Combiner Wars. Um, uh, Devastator. <laughs> So this is his hips. It turns into like a flatbed. Here's Brawl. He's the most boring of all of the the, the Combaticons. And there's a Onslaught, which has a new truck design. And if I'm calling them by their names, their Hasbro names, it's because I don't know their Jinbao Warbatron names. There's Swindle. He's happy. He has teeth, which I'll probably paint or not. I don't know if I'm going to customize these guys. I might. I mean, they're knockoffs, but they're pretty expensive knockoffs. So, yeah. Vortex looks pretty go cool. So, the ones I'm excited about are Swindle and Vortex. Their alt modes and their robot modes are cool. I like the chocolate space shuttle blast off. Then Onslaught and my less my least favorite would be Braun Brawl. Who as a kid I liked Bruticus because he was the only combiner with a mouth plate. I believe in the cartoon Superion had a mouth but in the toy he didn't which is weird or Correct me if I'm wrong, but Bruticus was the coolest of the combiners back then. Menacer was dumb. He had the stupid horns. The the Lamborghini, um, the Lamborghini uh, breakdown was. I always liked his Lamborghini mode. Anyway, seller, if you're watching this, everything looks okay. Everything. I'm sure everything's here. I'm not going to be like, oh, you forgot the Kabangan Anger.
and according to the tray everything is in its place so I'll give you five stars feedback and hopefully you have a selling progress I'm Aries double 83 this is 25 minutes long I'm not gonna edit this because that's gonna be my new format if you like this when I announce my other channel just run over there and subscribe usually my videos uh, for they get 50 hits so I have 50 loyal subscribers <coughs> even though my channel has 3,000 I don't know what's happening with the other guys. I'm Aries W83, and I'll see you guys on flip side. Bruticus. Warbatron, I mean. <laughs> Bye.